A pair of Saurus cranes with their young one. It's the dry season in Cambodia. There's been no rain for a long time, but here there are still wetlands. This protected reserve is one of the last places of refuge for the birds. A gamekeeper for nearly 10 years, Chum Ke has seen farmland gradually encroach on the reserve. Fertilizers and pesticides are polluting the water. For me, it's more than just a job. I'm helping to protect the cranes. That gives me and my family extra income. But the entire community benefits too. Through ecotourism, for example, which is slowly developing here. I want the next generation to be able to enjoy the cranes too. Farmers across the region are now receiving training from local NGOs, many of them supported by the German government's International Climate Initiative. Climate change is part of the problem. The rainy season is starting later, and sometimes there's extreme rainfall. The farmers responded by using more pesticides and fertilizers to protect their crops, but now they're learning that not every pest has to be treated with chemicals. We show the farmers how to farm in an ecological way. That way the soil stays healthy. And that's important if the soil is to retain moisture for as long as possible. Now the focus is on more natural, low-impact forms of farming, but without incurring losses for the farmers. Conservation is also an important subject in schools. Today, these children are learning about the Saurus crane. Most of them come from farming families. Many don't realize that the Saurus crane is an endangered species and that their parents' work can threaten its existence further. The children go home and pass on what they've learned to their families. They all live next to the wildlife reserve, so they learn that conservation is important for their future. Worldwide, around half of all natural wetlands have already disappeared. Only those who recognize the value of this unique habitat will invest time and effort in protecting it. And only then will Saurus cranes continue to have a future here in the lower Mekong wetlands of Cambodia. <laughs>